Hi guys, today I'll be taking a look at a super cheap tactile switch, the Akko V3 Cream Blue. Let's get started. But firstly a disclaimer, these switches were sent to me by Akko, I wasn't paid to make this review and I will remain as impartial as I can as per usual. Anyway, enjoy the review. Now, Akko has a new switch lineup known as the V3. It consists of two switches, a yellow linear and a blue tactile. The most impressive thing is, both cost $9 for 45 switches, placing them at the budget end of the price bracket. And this is what they look like when disassembled. Feel free to pause the video. Now, let's move on to the switch categories. On center key presses are ultra smooth with basically zero scratchiness, it's pretty much perfect. Off center key presses are also ultra smooth with only very minor scratchiness at very slow key presses, it's impressive for a contact based switch. Overall, if smoothness is what you're looking for, this is a must buy, especially for the price. 9 out of 10. Now, according to Akko, these switches have a tactile force of 53 grams at 0.5 millimeters, an actuation force of 38 grams at 2 millimeters, and a total travel of 3.5 millimeters. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, you're probably thinking of the lavender purple, and I don't blame you, they're basically the same switch, with the total travel being the biggest difference. On paper, that is. And just like the lavender purple, these switches feel heavier than what the force curve suggests, and they don't feel light in the slightest. Also, they feel more refined and a little more consistent, so it did receive some improvements, albeit they aren't the most noticeable. Overall, I really like these, and it does beg the question, why buy the lavender purple when this switch exists? 9 out of 10. Now, sound is possibly the weakest aspect of this switch as it isn't really the best sounding by my standards, although they do feature the echo clack as I like to call it, which isn't a bad sound signature at all, just not the best. Additionally, unlike the linear counterpart, these sound louder even though they're made of the same materials and are using the same 18mm extension spring. I don't know why that is. Overall, even though they aren't the best, I do still like them. 7 out of 10. Now, take a listen and enjoy. Now, typing on these was amazing, it outperforms every switch in its price point like the Gatron Brown, the Altama Brown and so forth. That's pretty obvious though. But even when compared to more expensive switches like the U4T or the Holy Panda and even the cheap Fekka Pandas, these are still up there with them, although all those switches have a snappier tactile feel overall. Overall, I really enjoyed my time with them and it's disappointing it took this long for a manufacturer to finally create a switch that not only is above average in performance, but is also affordable for beginners. 8 out of 10. Now, most tactile switches I test out for gaming aren't the greatest as their tactility tends to disappear under intense gameplay to a point where they feel like linear switches. However, just like with all tactile switches, they all lose their tactility the faster you press, and that's the same case here. The only difference is you could still rely on these compared to something like the Altima Brown for example. And with that said, these also make for the perfect switch for slower paced games. So if you find these in stock, go ahead and pick them up. Overall, gaming is an aspect where many tactile switches fail, especially ones in this price point. But these were amazing in every game I played. 8 out of 10. In conclusion, this is a really good switch. 
Seriously, I highly recommend them to anyone who is even remotely interested in trying out an actually tactile Switch and not some Gatron Brown nonsense for an affordable price. The final score for this Switch is an impressive 41 out of 50 or 82%, tying it with more expensive Switches outside its price bracket. And that's the end of the review, and next time I'm not sure what I'll be reviewing so you'll just have to wait and see. Until then, take care and goodbye.